Oh, hi guys, uh, welcome to Swipe It. Now, you know when it's your birthday and you get cards from all your family and that's super sweet, but then you've got to do the call to say thank you. Well, I've got that now with my gran. Hello, Joe. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, gran. And thank you very much for the card and thank you for the present. It's her. Her makes you strong. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's kind of old. Joe. Uh, no, gran. <laughs> What's on my head? What's up guys? I am wearing my super weird glittery gold hat. It's time to play What's on my head? The rules are simple. I can't see what's on my head, but you can. If I guess the item, I win. But if I don't, you win. Let's play. Okay, the thing is on my head. Can I just, I, no, I can't see it. So here we go. Is it a person? No. Okay, there's no, there's nobody up there. Is it smelly? No. no. Okay, that's just me, sorry. Is it a, a strange colour? Ah. No. Is it something I can like eat or drink? Yes. Is it round shaped? No. Oh, can I easily eat it? Yes. Oh, is it healthy? Yes. Is it a fruit? Yes. Yellow? Yes. Is it a banana? Yeah. Yes! Hello, you beauties. Oh, I knew it. And I absolutely love bananas. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, hello. Uh, there's some brilliant sales on. Might get myself some new footy boots. <laughs> oh, it's potato. <sighs> hey, mate. All good? Yeah, well, I thanks, Joe. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I say I'm happy. I'm actually quite annoyed, and I'll tell you why. Something's been peeing my potato. How come when you go to the dentist, he's all like, open wide, please, but then you never get to see inside of his mouth? I don't like it, Joe. I don't like it one little bit. What's he got to hide? What's inside his mouth? What's so special about his teeth that he won't let me have a look? But he's okay to poke about in these gnashes. Well, maybe if you explain to them, like, it put you at ease, um, and they might show you their teeth. Ah, you can't do that, Joe. These lot of proper medical professionals are not circus animals. All right, best be going. Bye! Right. Hello, guys. Just popping out, but you know me. I can't resist a challenge, so we're doing the ping pong stair challenge. Here's how it goes. Take a cup. Place it at the bottom of the stairs, fill a ball up with ping pong balls, and with only one bounce, land a ball <laughs> in the cup. No, I, I don't want to get it right, but I've got a feeling this... I don't think it's going to happen. This is taking so long. Oh, oh, I thought this was going to be easier. Well, that was a huge waste of time. You don't need me to tell you. I failed it. Oh, no, guys. Three boxes. It's time for Mystery Munch. Inside two of these boxes is something I definitely do not want to eat. But inside one of these boxes is something I would definitely want to eat. Okay, here we go. Time to choose a box. Nice and easy. Uh, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text him it. Yeah, see what they say. Which box, A, B, or C? Won't be long. <laughs> what do you mean, what for? It's very important. <laughs> box A. That's it. This is going to be the nice one. Box A, let's have a look. Oh, hello. It's a donut. Fair to say you've chosen the good one. I love me a donut. <laughs> what donut is this? Mm, that's nice, isn't it? I'm just going to text him back. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <gasps> it tastes so bad. Must keep chewing. Mm -hmm. This is honestly one of the worst things I've ever eaten. And it's affecting the volume of my voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, the taste is still everywhere. But now that's done, is it worth knowing what was in box B? Oh, sugar donut. Well, that's nice. That's a good option. Box C? Mayonnaise donut. I mean, I like mayo, but that's... I definitely had the worst option there. A ketchup donut. That was... Mystery Munch. How many? How weird? Hey 
Hey guys, Whew. you know what? It's actually pretty chilly today. So much so that I've had to put on my extra woolly socks. Which actually got me thinking. How many sheep would you need to make woolly socks for everyone in the UK? Hmm, I feel some fun maths coming on. So first things first, the UK, or United Kingdom, is made up of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Now, we need to know how many people live in these combined countries, which is a whopping 67.22 million. That's enough people to fill around 772,644 double-decker buses. Next up, sheep. <laughs> Lots of sheep. Each sheep's coat produces on average 7.3 kilograms of wool. To make a single pair of socks, you need 100 grams of wool. The average sheep's fleece could make 73 pairs of woolen socks. So to provide woolly socks for everyone in the country, we need to divide the population by 73. So, how many sheep do you think you'd need to make woolly socks for everyone in the UK? It's time to take a guess. Is it just over 9,000? Just over 900,000? Or over 9 million sheep? Time's up! What did you go for? If you said just over 900,000, you are right. In fact, it's 920,822. Man, that's a lot of chewed grass and noisy bleating. I think I'll stick to slippers next time. Next up, it's Meet My Pet. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm from Suffolk. This is my pet leopard gecko, Copper. I'm going to show you what it's like in a day looking after him. I've just woken up and I know Copper would like his light turned on. It's time to feed Copper. Today, he's going to have locusts for dinner. First, I pour some calcium into a pot. Then I add the locusts and shake them so they get covered in calcium. Copper eats eight locusts every two days. Leopard geckos yawn to help dislodge things in their throat, especially when they're eating. After I fed him, I like to handle him in the afternoons. It's now seven o'clock and I'm gonna put Copper to bed and turn his light off. That was the day in the life of a leopard gecko owner. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay guys, time to get off the sofas and get moving. We are gonna jump into the world of some of my favorite pop shows and learn some awesome dance moves. Today's show is... Oh! Alvin and the Chipmunks! So this dance is in three parts. The first part goes like this. Look left, look right, jog on the spot, and then check your watch. And then look fresh. So the second part goes like this. We're gonna start off by jogging on the spot, and then punch left, punch right, and disco eye. And the third part is the chorus. So we start with Disco Eyes. Alvin, Simon, Theodore. And then it's back to the jog. Let's go. to play a dazzle of a game called Who's That Character? The rules are simple. I've got to find as many people as I can who can correctly name your favourite pop characters. I'm against the clock, so let's do it! Who is this? Do you know? Do you know who this is? No, who's that? Do you not know? No, it begins with Lady. 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 Gaga. Lady Gaga? <laughs> Farewell! Lady Gaga. The big city. Oh, what name would you give her? Uh, I don't know. Uh, one name, go. Uh, yeah. Spirey. Woman. Spy is Ladybug. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Who's this? Do you know? I know you know it. Lady Bird. Lady Bird, so close. That's one. Catman. Catman? Who's this? Ladybug. <gasps> <laughs> 
Sean, but she's got it right. It is. <laughs> she knows straight away. Well, okay, okay. Who's this? Cat Noir. What? Cat Noir. Yes. <laughs> done it. Hands in. On three, Pop TV. One, two, three, Pop, Pop TV. TV. Come on. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Phew! Oh, that was a wild ride. Guys, you are awesome. Hey, don't forget, Swipe It is always the number one spot for giggles and <laughs> silliness. I'll see you real soon. Bye!